Mama's gonna love it. Oh, look at it. Woo! Get out of there. This is hard. Nothing tastes better than food somebody else cooks for you. He's never made it before. Henry. Yeah. I do appreciate his creative toppings. Tomatoes. It was beautiful. I was so pampered that day. How's the soup? Why? Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm the world's okayest mom, and I get a lot of comments saying that it looks like I'm the only person in my house who ever cooks. Now that's not true, but it did get me thinking that maybe it's time for you to see what it looks like when the boys in my house do the cooking. So for an entire week, I'm out of the kitchen. I don't even know what to expect here, so please wish me luck. This is probably your most requested episode. The thing that makes me the most nervous about this week is I'm in charge of cleanup duty. I am a cook who cleans as I go, and Matt, doesn't do that. He cooks through the whole meal and then tackles the rest at the end. I have so much fun in the kitchen with the boys. And so my hope is that Matt and the boys get that amazing bonding time. And I'm excited to see what they come up with. Tonight, we have to cook mama dinner. It's all on us. What do you want to cook? Uh, steak. Yeah, steak, right? Fancy. That's good. I think she'll like steak. And what else? Should we do, we gotta do a vegetable, right? Yeah. Block broccoli. Yeah, high fives. Day one started off pretty easy for Matt. He leaned into his strengths and he fired up the grill. Scrub it good, we gotta clean it. Wait, Matt, are you vlogging? Yeah, <laughs> are you spying on me? <laughs> That's my job. I was a little nervous about him letting Jackson and Wyatt help out around the hot grill, but it all went smoothly. Good job, guys. There's not much that the boys can do to help when it comes to grilling, because a lot of it is just flipping and monitoring. So they did what they could. I really thought I was gonna have it easy this week, but I was on Henry duty for most of the time during meal prep. No, Wyatt, Wyatt, no, no. Usually that's my time to have a little break, and I can kind of zen out and do some cooking. This time I was on Full Henry duty. There's your dad. Look at him with his flashlight grilling. <laughs> oh, look at it. Woo! The dinner was delicious. I was really happy that they thought of a vegetable and a protein, and they even had a side of potato salad. How much did you guys help? 8%. Mm -hmm. The one thing that wasn't the most conscious was the budget. I mean, those steaks were a little pricey, but I'm not gonna complain because they were delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Very windy day, but they're outside cooking again. Poured myself a little glass of wine. And now I'm gonna drink it while someone else cooks for me. I think Matt's thinking was, I started out strong on day one, so let's just grill again on day two. Cheese veggie dogs and some cut up pickles. <laughs> Are we having a vegetable? Um, guys? Oh. <laughs> Matt says the vegetable is the pickles. And I know they love me because they made these and no one else really likes them but me. Usually when I cook, I make foods that I know everyone else will enjoy. And so it was nice to have the tables turned for mealtime. Who's trolling? Rosie. I think he likes it. Can I have some cranch on mine? You want cranch? Yeah, yeah I want cranch. cranch. This is cranch. It's ketchup ranch, and it is divine. And I just like saying it. How could you be mad when you got cranch in your fridge? Oh, yeah. We were in LA, we were at my mom's house. Day three, we packed everything in the car and drove to LA because at the end of the week, it would actually be Mother's Day. So we wanted to be there with my mom and make it a big family gathering. Matt and the boys decided to make one of Matt's specialties. He loves to make tortilla soup. Let's put the beans in there, boy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it smells, smells good. good. His secret that he swears by is taking corn tortillas and sticking them right in the soup and letting them dissolve to there thicken it. Oh, it's on a little boat. Tortilla boat. Soup was spectacular. He's really, really good at it, and it never turns out the same way twice. He just kind of goes and puts stuff in, and it turns into something delicious. This is so good. 10 out of 10, Matt. Mm. Ooh, what are we thinking about? Oh, Jackson finished. Oh, yeah. Wyatt, what do you think? Wyatt gets really overwhelmed by a big looking amount of food. He likes little bites. So I just got this plate, but basically you put the food in each container and then there's a treasure in here. And this has been amazing for Wyatt because he loves it, right? 
Yeah, I loved it so much. And once I moved it into that plate, he enjoyed it so much. Total mom hack. It's one of the most brilliant things I've seen in a very long time. How's the soup? Why? Mm. Well, I smell something. What's cooking? I'm gonna look. No, no, no. Get out of there. I'm looking. No. Oh, french fries. Whoa, these are, they're dark. Are you overcooking them? No. What did you forget to do? Turn them. You didn't turn them. He, this no, is the I thing. actually like things that are more brown. He does this every, he does this every time. You know, he'll make a mistake in the kitchen, but it's, I like it, so keep going. I think it's something he passed along to the boys. I totally meant to make the waffles kind of frozen. Totally meant to do that. What are you doing? Just cutting up my, my french fry pizza. French okay. fry pizza. They decided they wanted to make french fry pizza. It's something that I make with them quite a bit. So of course they asked Matt to try to make it. He's never made it before. What did you put on it? Olives. This anti-pasto mix? Yeah. Wow, and you cooked it in a cake pan? Yep. All right. Not the most aesthetic french fry pizza, but it tasted amazing. It's actually sticking together kind of, which is surprising to me. Okay, 7.5 out of 10. Did you enjoy yours? The boys were so happy to have it. They'd wanted it for a really long time. So good. Are you so proud good. of it? Yeah. So good. Day five, I decided to make a food request. I would like a French omelet this morning. What's a French, a French omelet? omelet? I've never had one. I've just seen pictures yeah. of it. Are they little rolled, rolled up ones? You, so you know what it is? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how well, we're going to have Jackson do the cracking, I think, and you'll do the whisking. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, what? You ready to start whisking? Mm -hmm. Right, why? Good mm. job, buddy. While they're making the French omelets, I'm with Henry. Bah. Bar, you got a bar? He is really silly. He's a really silly kid, and he's a lot of fun. Who's that? Yeah. Papa. Baby. Blow kiss to baby? So sweet. So the tricky part will be to try to, to roll this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I almost had it. The sounds coming from the kitchen when they were doing the flip was like someone had just scored the winning touchdown at the oh Super gosh. Bowl. Oh, it's oh, oh my God. Yeah, we add something to the top. What are these? Uh, micro greens. Micro greens? Yeah. And we're just gonna put the lead, the little green parts on there, not, oh. the, not the twigs. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Did I enjoy it? 100%. It was great, it was a really, really buttery omelet. Good? Oh, that is good. Thank you, boys. This is my dream fulfilled. Henry is what's yours is mine, through and through. The second they laid those eggs in front of me, he goes with his whole <laughs> hand and grabs my oh entire my omelet to try to start oh eating it like a burrito. I'm in for it with this kid. I hear some struggling happening in the kitchen, so I feel like I should help. Now, day six, I was not clued into what was being prepared, but clearly the boys all had big plans. What are you watching? How to open a young coconut. <laughs> God. Matt comes in, he's got a coconut and a big knife. And I'm thinking, what could you possibly be making with this? What? <laughs> okay. oh. Why coconut? I've got something you're gonna make that's gonna be real good. Right guys? They're struggling with the knife, so Jackson and Wyatt had this brilliant idea to oh. chuck it outside to try oh to gosh. break it. Oh my God, I heard the liquid. They finally got the coconut open and I still had no idea what they were using it for. Is this like your fuel to make something else? We're gonna use the meat. Let's squeeze some oranges and some lemons. I'm gonna put the cilantro into the bowl. They're chopping tomatoes, they're chopping onions. I don't understand how that goes along with coconut. Tomatoes. Ooh, a special delivery. They were making vegan ceviche. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I've never really had much ceviche because it always has shrimp in it. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, let's try it. But that didn't work. Mm. It's hard to believe this is coconut. Ooh, this is good, you guys. I felt really special. You know, Matt thought of the recipe. He thought of 
my dietary restrictions. The boys actually enjoyed it. I was really surprised because it had a lot of ingredients that Wyatt definitely won't touch, but it's that thing of when he helps, he's way more willing to taste it. Thank you, I appreciate this. You're welcome. It's delicious. It's Mother's Day. I have my coffee in my mask and the boys are making some sort of complex brunch. They decided to make Eggs Benedict because to them it's an exciting breakfast food and I know Matt especially loves Eggs Benedict. For a beginner cook, Eggs Benedict is pretty difficult. There are many points at which the recipe can go south and unfortunately for Matt, he pretty much went south at all of them. I can't not say something. Oh my God. Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh my God, he's trying to poach eggs, and all he's doing is spooning the yolks. That's all the egg whites. Matt, can I help you? Can I show you one? I didn't want him to get too discouraged with the recipe, and I didn't want to deter him from trying new recipes in the future. So I offered to teach him how to poach one egg just so he could see a clear example, and then he could take it and go from there. And then drop the egg in, okay? Oh my God. Three, two, one. Once he saw the first one being made, he knew what to do, and he did a really good job for the rest. Arguably the hardest part of Eggs Benedict is the hollandaise sauce. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you did it. Okay. No shells. No shells. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Just. Let's just say in the kitchen, Matt's probably not the most clear communicator and Jackson isn't the best listener. So it really wasn't the best combo to make something as complex as hollandaise sauce. Oh, this, this is, is for the hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise. Hollandaise sauce. <laughs> Can you stop talking in the background? <laughs> Matt is stressed. He was like muttering to himself and making frustrated noises. Are you doing okay? This is really hard. <laughs> So what happened here? Yeah, it didn't quite come out like we wanted. Are you going to blend it? I'm gonna try about anything right now. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm kinda of disappointed. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be good. What went wrong with that hollandaise sauce is he used a fork to mix the eggs and didn't fully mix them or aerate them. So there were chunks of egg white in there. So he threw it in the blender and blended it to try to get it a little more whipped. Didn't go as smoothly as I wanted. It was kind of a debacle. Kind of had to save me twice. Hey, you know what? We tried a really tricky dish and She's happy, so that's all that counts. This looks amazing. I like my poached eggs on the firm side, so let's see how they did. Ooh! <gasps> the egg was poached so perfectly. It was delicious. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Best Mother's Day brunch ever. And because it was Mother's Day, Matt and the boys agreed to do the dishes, and I got that day off. By the end of the week, I was so grateful for all of the beautiful food. I was really proud of them for all of the effort they put into it. And I was also really ready to start cooking again. You may see me do the majority of the cooking, and that's because that's what's fun for me. That's what I love to do, but it was really fun to see Matt take on all the cooking for a week. So that's all for now. I'm Hannah, and please let me know on Instagram who does the cooking in your house? And please let Matt know what a good job he did on all of his recipes. Now, if you'll excuse us, I have some cooking to do and he has some cleaning to do. Till next time. Bye, guys.